Thanatos is one of the most strategically played characters in Divine Knockout and definitely one of my favorites. He was the first character I ever picked up in Divine Knockout that I said, wow, this is an amazing character. I'm going to show you what build I use to play Thanatos and what I enjoy doing at him the most. So after we cover the build guide, we're going to give you guys a couple tips at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Let's begin off here with Divine Traits. Now for Divine Trait, I use End of Fates on Thanatos because I think it's an amazing ability, allowing me to reduce the cooldown of every ability landed on my opponent by three seconds. So which means if I am on a roll with my ability, are not missing they're going to have a hard time keeping up because i'm going to be getting such faster cooldowns that they won't know what hit them knowing that if i do a long game where i have mortal coil up more often it will allow me to heal myself a lot more frequently meaning i'm going to be taking near to next damage while you're struggling plus mortal coil interrupts it's great Next up for minor traits, we're going to start off with Essence of Vigor. Now, the reason I use this is simple. You heard me talk about in my Divine trait how Mortal Coil is basically the ability I love the most. It's the ability that I use so much because it heals. So what Essence of Vigor does, it allows Mortal Coil to heal an additional 20 vulnerability. Being able to heal a lot with your Mortal Coil, especially that extra 20, is extremely important. As Thanos is such a strategic character because you also have to keep in mind that you can't be spamming your abilities willy-nilly because every ability you spam increases the vulnerability on your character, which is also why I like like Thanatos, that extra little thing that you have to pay attention to. Now, the next minor trait I use is called Death of Nigh. Now, I personally believe it is a great fit for my playstyle as it allows all the effects that are applied to your enemies when they're above 100% vulnerability while facing Thanatos is now applied at 85%, but understand that it also applies to you as well, which is a double-edged sword, but I like the fact knowing that at 85%, the game gets really intense, and it also allows me an easier chance to knock people back early. One well-timed alt or side slash is definitely going to knock them out of their Arena, which gives me that added bonus of the victory. Now, my final minor trait is pretty simple. I use Empowered Souls, so each orb collected from Soul Leech grants me 1% ultimate charge. I think that's pretty great. It allows my ult to come up faster. And with Thanatos, I'm not really building this for my ult to come up extremely fast, because if I wanted to, then I would have to change around a lot of different traits and blessings. But I just wanted to come out at a perfect time where my enemy is literally at 85%, so there's no real rush for it. Now we're heading into the Greater Blessing territory, and I want you guys to note that I'm going to list a few greater blessings which I believe are optimal for this Thanatos build in my opinion. Right now I have Arthur's inside equipped this so dodging hits grant me an additional 6 ultimate charge. So it allows me to get my ultimate charge just fast enough because I'll be dodging throughout the game so it's going to help me a lot. But at the same time there are other greater blessings that you can use. I believe Ymir's blessing or Ymir's grit sorry is a very good blessing to use. Hits against you are reduced by 5 damage down to a minimum of 12. Why that's very useful because as I said earlier, with Thanatos, all your abilities raise your vulnerabilities, so any damage reductions can be very useful on you. Another greater blessing you can use is Saul's Temper, but then again, Saul's Temper is good for every single character in Divine Knockout in my opinion, being able to deal an additional 25% damage to the last enemy that knocked you out in the round, or deal an additional 12.5 damage if you have not been knocked out of the round yet. That is also very intriguing and nice in my opinion. Now with that being said, we're going to go on to the lesser blessings here. My first lesser blessing is Upward Slash. Air heavy attacks deal an additional 4 damage, maximum 8 per attack. Why I like this? Because when I play Thanatos, one of the things I love to do is use my air light or air heavy attacks. My air heavy knocks them back very far, especially if they're high on vulnerability. Compared to other characters, that's just what I believe and feel. So with that being said, that's why I use Upward Slash. For the last lesser blessing, I want you guys to know, and I've noted this in my last guide, video that I believe this blessing has to really suit your personal playstyle. I have two options here I use. One of them is Healthy Spirit, basically allowing all vulnerability restoring effects to now heal an additional one vulnerability. I believe that, that heal vulnerability multiple times are capped at three for their entire ability. It's pretty nice, it just helps me heal a little bit extra, but also sometimes I do use this because I think Thanatos needs it, especially since he can get knocked back a little earlier how I'm playing a riskier build, Guard Stance. Heavy attacks against you deal a reduced 10% knockback. Sometimes it comes in handy versing Hercules or other heavy hitters in the game. With that being said, we're done here with this trait guide and blessing guide. What we're going into next is going to be the few tips that I have for Thanatos players out there. Now, the first tip is going to be the most important in my opinion when it comes to Thanatos because he is very different compared to other characters. If you have zero abilities up, you need to be very careful. You are practically useless. Yes, you have light attacks, auto attacks, air heavies, and air lights, but more or less, you can't really do much as most of Thanatos' gameplay revolves around his abilities. He's a very slow in a lot of aspects and regards. Now, another thing to note is do not spam your abilities because they are so important. Mortal Coil is something that you want to try your best to hit almost every time. So if you know your opponent is constantly dodging your Mortal Coil, what you want to do is bait it as much as possible. Use your Scythe first, then use your Mortal Coil to catch them off guard when they do not have any ability to dodge. Another thing you can do is time it properly. If you know they're going to use an ability to come close to you, 
put your mortal coil very close to you so that it will interrupt them as they're about to hit you, giving you the opportunity to take some health from them and do some damage. I love to do that when Hercules players or Sun Wukong players come into my range. It's perfect. Sometimes I do this to Suno as well. Now, this next tip is very important for a lot of new Thanatos players out there. Understand when you're using your mobility, it is totally different to other characters. You can actually move while using it. You have no reason to actually come down and use the ability by clicking the ground, allowing you to dive and use your knockback with it. Because most of the times people can easily counter that. So what you really use your mobility for is to go in the sky, fly around and glide to the perfect location or simply to buy yourself some time. Sometimes I literally use it to avoid abilities, drop down, hit them with an air light into air heavy, knocking them back. It's the perfect maneuver there with Thanatos. And my last major tip when it comes to Thanatos is all about his alt. If he's using his ultimate ability, don't just use it willy nilly. You want to make sure your opponent made the mistake to come in on you. Get ready. I normally bait them out so they can come in on me. Plus, also note that for some reason, your ultimate ability takes priorities over a lot of others. So if two people were to use their ultimate, let's say Athena and Thanatos, if you use it at the same time, you're guaranteed to hit yours first and grab them up. Same thing for Hercules. Once they don't get it off to that immunity phase, you are totally fine. You can catch them off in their animation cast as you're literally rushing towards them to catch them off in that Dark Vader choke. On top of that, you do heal yourself from that ability. So it's okay if you don't knock them back, but I normally use my ultimate because I normally have it up at 85% vulnerability, which gives me the opportunity opportunity now to knock them out once I landed. That's why your ultimate is very, very important. Even if you want to be patient and have a long lasting game, landing and getting that heal back is also very necessary. Now that's about it for Thanatos. I hope you enjoyed this guide and I hope this helps you out. If you'd like to leave your builds, feel free to visit me in the comment section down below, leaving what builds you have. Also, if you check the comment section, you'll see my website. I'm trying to build a website dedicated to Divine Knockout. All information, all guides, everything. If you have guides you would love to submit, message me on Discord and I'll make a whole post about it for other people to check out.